up everyone this is draco evolve back yet again with some latest manchester united transfer news and this is the latest transfer news in regards to donny van der beek yes yes i'm sure you guys have noticed a few things one is my headset i'm using a headset now because only because my mic has broken down and i'm waiting for the new mic to come in but more importantly obviously you guys have noticed that in the last few hours the donny van der beek transfer saga has literally lifted off there are various reports coming out over the last couple of hours that manchester united are edging nearer to signing donny van der beek there are some official statements to go through as well as well as statements from reputable sources tier one sources if you're gonna call it in regards to donny van der beek but but ix had a game today donny van der beek has been left out of the ix squad the manager came out and said there are indeed developments that prevent him from being in the selection we are looking at how that will end obviously that sent everything in to frenzy internet frenzy you can say and obviously the speculation surrounding donny van der beek in regards to a potential move away from manchester um, from ix the reporter asked um, whether the the reason behind him being left out of the club was in in fact because of transfer speculation or something else and the manager has confirmed that there are transfer developments behind the scene hence why he's not been included in the squad what that what does that mean it can mean a few things one according you know my personal opinion is one it could mean the fact that he has handed in a transfer request or not has handed in a transfer request, uh, refused to be part of this uh, squad to um, only because he, he's, ha he's got his heart set on a move to the manager thinks that he will eventually end up moving. His mind is not going to be in the game. So it's the right thing to do to leave him out of the squad. Obviously, over the last couple of days, there has been developments, you know, behind the scene, you know, how transfers work, we do not know. But behind the scene, it could be the fact that bid or interest was made and Donny van der Beek has come out or to the manager and said, look, I, I, I want to move and, I, you know, I'm not available for the game. So the manager has taken a bit of a decision in not including him in, in the match squad. Obviously, there has been no reports coming out that an official bid has been made. A uh, few reports coming out that it could be Barcelona, it could be Manchester United, it could be Spurs as well, and Real Madrid. But Barcelona, one of Barcelona's reputable sources, has come out and kind of squashed those rumors that um, you know Barcelona are not interested in Donny Van der Beek. Nothing has come out from Spurs, which leaves us with one club, which is Manchester United. There are reports coming out, right? So sorry, um, back in June. Um, Donny van der Beek did come out and said uh, he said back in June or, or his manager came out and said this is from the men uh, back in June that it's clear that clubs like Real Madrid and United are showing interest in Donny van der Beek so uh, there are reports going around that Donny van der Beek has been scouted uh, by Manchester United for, for a long time and it is one of the short list of players that United do want at the club potentially and with the new season starting in, in, a, in a couple of weeks time Manchester United haven't made any transfer windows, transfers, that is. There's a lot of criticism around the club and this is a step in the right direction. We'll get back to that a little bit because tier one sources, Fabrizio Romano, this is the latest in Donny van der Beek transfer latest. Fabrizio, Fabrizio Romano, for those of you who do not know him, he is one of the most reputable journalists, you can say, out there. Whenever he says something, like, it's happening, then it's happening. So he, he's obviously got sources, high-ranking sources. His career is built around reputation in regards to the trust, tr trustworthy of his sources and what he says. He's not like other journalists to come out and just put stuff out just to get clicks or whatever. So he's quite reputable. So he came out over the last couple of hours, few hours, said that Manchester United are in contact with Donny van der Beek's agents by weeks. No, no idea what that means, but, you know. We'll take that. He's been scouted for many months, as we know. He's considered an opportunity, but Ajax are still waiting to refuse, receive an official bid. Barcelona are denying any contact to sign Van der Beek. So as I said, stated, stated before, that Barcelona, 
was rumored to be in in the mix with obviously you know Ronald Koeman being the new manager, the Dutch manager. Also, Frank, his pal Frankie De Jong is there as a midfielder. Could be potentially that Barcelona is the club who have come up, but he you know Barcelona ha- have denied it. Um, he went on to say, Donny Van der Beek would love to join. Premier League and he's waiting for an official bid after clubs have contacted his agents on last week. We're talking about last week. Ajax will let him leave if any club will match the price tag around 40 million euros. So that's the latest coming out from the man himself, Fabrizio Romano. Donny van der Beek's uh, agents you know, the, and the clubs have been in contact, contact last week, which is this week went by, but no official bid has been made. So obviously there were things that have popped up that we didn't we did not know about. Manchester United kept that very well under the radar until now. And um of no official bid has been made. For sure, if Ajax receive a bid of around forty million euros, then yes, Ajax will be happy to sell Donny van der Beek. I reckon that the contractual negotiations and you know the permission to talk to the players have been done already. So it's just a matter of agreeing a fee. Normally, it does happen from clubs where they allow players to go and talk to a potential transfer to another club, get the contractual situation, get, get the process started whilst they come up with a official sort of bid for for the player itself. Ajax will be happy with something like 40 million euros, which works out around 35 million pounds, if I'm right, in and around that, which is such a great, great thing for a player of his qualities. Simon Stone, who's also reputable, come out and said, United are monitoring Van der Beek's situation, have watched him and evidently interested. On Merge earlier, he looked very tidy, think early crush of fixtures may offer more opportunity of EFL Cup. So that's, that's what Merge Bay, but Simon Stone has come out and tweeted that in regards to Donny Van der Beek as well. And you got various outlets everywhere from YouTube channels to journalists to, t- to in the nose, Twitters, they're all reporting the same thing. Something has happened in the background whether it was fed by the United PR system, you know, United to get the morale up, we do not know, you know, although don't doubt it, you never know, Manchester United's PR is a bit, it's a bit all over the place at the moment, they always spout crap, you can say, to lift the fan base, knowing that the incompetency, incompetent behaviour of their negotiations is, is clear for everyone to see, but also United do need... Um, transfers as we know they need more than one position midfield being one of them as you can see but a lot of reports are coming out in regards to Donny van der Beek now let's have a look at some of his stats just to remind ourselves and you know I I did do a video not so long ago in regards to um, you know my top three midfielders that I feel Manchester United should sign Donny van der Beek is in there and I do feel Donny van der Beek will be the right signing for Manchester United so last season he played 37 games as you can see scoring 10 goals 11 assists that's a very good return in terms of what position he plays in. Yes, he can play in attacking midfield, but he's also got uh, he can also be competent on the central midfield side. He's a bit similar to Fred, but more bigger, more physical, and obviously a few years younger than Fred. And also, I've, also he has a higher ceiling than Fred, which means that him coming in will be one of the players that we can de- look to develop, and go- he can eventually be in the central midfield starting partnership with Pogba and Bruno Fernandes. He has higher ceiling for sure, as I as I said. He he can pass the ball. He he can press. He's very, as I said in my other video, he's very industrious midfielder as well. Hard working midfielder. He likes the pressing game. He can press hard, and and he's the type of player that much like uh, Thomas Muller, who can literally just he just comes in, nothing fancy, gets the job done and gets out. And that's what Oli is obviously looking for in terms of his new recruitment of signing someone who can tactically be aware, be listen to the. The, the manager and the tactics and just get the job, job done. That Van der Beek will be a fantastic signing, especially for that price, whatever, you know, if, if it is true, that price is being quoted by a lot of outlets. And I think that if Manchester United pull this off, I'll be very happy. But obviously we need other areas, right? A centre midfielder of his quality for that price is def- definitely miles better than what you're going to potentially play for someone like Jack Grealish, which is almost double that, double that amount, you could say or whatever they're asking. But it's nothing set in stone at the moment. You know, rumour mill ha- is, is going on to, on to meltdown at the moment. And when you have uh, tier one uh, journalists like Fabrizio coming out, uh, reports left, right, centre, then there has to be some sort of substance in there. 
the reason why we have linked him with Manchester United because Barcelona have distanced distanced themselves. Real Madrid, Spurs, nothing nothing happened there. Tier one journalists are coming out saying it's actually Manchester United who have made a contact. Now the next bit of thing that does concern me, and I'm sure it concerns a lot of you you guys out there, is how long it will take for us to do that deal, right? The Premier League is starting in two weeks' time, which means the players will be coming back into preseason very, very soon. Manchester United have a problem. Not Manchester United. The Hyrax have a problem of getting the deal over the line ASAP. And that causes a lot of frustration, right? Yes, the window is open till October. I think October 13th. But before that, all the Premier League games have started. Clubs, players have turned sort of like their mentality towards matches itself and not not the back background stuff. And Manchester United, if we do not sign a midfielder going into the new season, we're going to be in a bit of a trouble, right? The quality of depth in the midfield position is not good enough. And we've seen that. We've seen that over the past six, seven months during match days. We've seen that with Pereira. We've seen that with McTominay and Fred, who's, who's kind of dipped down. Um, Matic is aging. There is nobody else, you could say. So signing someone of a quality like Donny van der Beek, who's young as well, who can be definitely one for the future as well. He's only, what, 20, 23? He just turned, he just literally turned 23. So he's got years and years ahead of him. He's, he's a bit on the bigger side compared to Fred, so which means that potentially he can play a defensive position in a CDM position, he can be turned into that. He's got time to turn into that. So there's a lot of options for that. And someone like Donny van der Beek, who's, who's played in the highest, he's got experience in the Champions League, which is the highest competition you can do in club football, it will only benefit us. For a price like that, it'll be fantastic. That's the latest on Donny van der Beek's potential transfer to Manchester United. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do get involved. And I'll catch you guys if any developments have happened. I'll catch you guys in the next upload and stay fun funny.